Hey, what's up? I'm A.B. Quintanilla, and this is my lovely wife, Ricky, and it's 4.30 in the morning, man. And uh, it's what the thing is, is that we have musician hours, because usually when we finish our gigs, they're like at 2 in the morning. By the time we eat, 3. Our whole sleeping schedule is completely bad. Our sleeping schedule is really bad, man. Really, so. really bad. But that's just the way we sleep. But uh want to send a shout out to everybody that's uh, been supporting Ricky's videos and mm. coming to all of uh, my social media pages. And everybody that keeps saying that we need to make another one, because it's been forever, forever and, and, ever, and ever and ever and, and ever and ever. Here's another video for you. Here's another you. video, and this this one we're going to call My Thoughts, My Personal Private Thoughts on Jennifer Lopez. Starting with, I don't even know where to begin. First of all, the one thing that I want to address is um, I posted up recently that Jennifer Lopez is going to be performing at the Billboard Awards, and she's going to be doing a tribute for Selena, my sister. Let's clear up what a tribute is, okay? A tribute is when somebody is paying tribute or singing some songs of somebody they admire or somebody that you know they want to pay tribute to you know what i'm saying it doesn't mean that that person is trying to replace the other person or trying to be them or trying or... to be them you know but to me it's amazing it's awesome and i think it's it'll so be cool. i think that it'll be one of the most watched tv shows probably in the history of billboard that's a big thing to go full circle around where you had somebody like J-Lo play, portray Selena, which I tell you guys as Selena's brother and the guy that was on stage, played bass with her every night. I was at every Astrodome, every performance. Sometimes when I watch a Selena movie, J-Lo kind of fooled me. I, I thought I was seeing Selena, you know. So she did a wonderful job. I'm totally, totally excited about I'm totally honored and it's and it's great that 20 years later that they're still remembering Selena and she's still breaking records like she did here in Corpus. It was crazy for Fiesta de la Flor. We want to thank everybody that came out for that. But going back to the to the Jennifer Lopez um, subject, you know, on my Facebook it was met with a lot of negativity and Selena was not about negativity. She was about love and she was always about congratulating people. And what we need to do people is congratulate the fact that Jennifer Lopez has sold 55 million albums worldwide. More than. More than that. As of 2012, three that's years as of ago. That's of 2012. <laughs> she has sold. She has sold. Oh, excuse me for. Sorry, Je I'm Jennifer, being overbold. Yeah, Jennifer Lopez has sold 55 million albums. More than that, probably. Selena has sold 60 million albums. So I congratulate you. Jennifer Lopez, I salute you for all you have done, for all the movies you've done. Because before Selena, we looked up. I mean, we, we already knew people, of A lot of people keep saying that if it wasn't for the Selena movie, she wouldn't be who she is and this and that. But the thing is, she was already doing movies. She was already in movies before the Selena movie. Like, she was doing Anaconda. There was, uh, what do we say, U-Turn. U-Turn with George, uh, George Clooney. Um, Money Train. That was with Wesley Snipes, I believe, also. Yeah, like, she was, with, with she, was already, she was already making her way through the movie, like, industry or whatever you want to call it. You know what I mean? She was, she was yes, a, yes, yeah. the Selena movie helped to boost her and get her name out there more to show what it is that she could do. But the fact of the matter is that she was already on her way to becoming who she is today. And we, as people that love Selena, the the key word is love, is to always keep love. You know what I'm saying? And one thing that I'm asking all her fans is Jennifer Lopez's page, she has 43 million followers, 43 million likes, okay? Selena has 2.5 million. So what's wrong with that number? That number is very, very low. So I'd like to see that. So for people that come to my page and like to share experiences, I don't mind that you come to share Selena experiences. But, you know, maybe if you took them over there and brought more people to the Selena fan page, that number would go from 2.5 maybe to 30 million or to 40 million. I would really, that would be one of my greatest dreams. I, I For me, I really honestly, I love Facebook. If I went down to 200 followers, I'm okay with that. I'd rather see that my sister, 
You know what I'm saying? Shine. Because that's always what it's been for me is her shining. I guess if you want to clear that up too, because a lot of people get offended or whatever whenever you block them or delete them from your Instagram or Facebook. And they're like, well, why? The reason that I do that is because I feel if you're coming with Selena stories, that you should share those personal stories on Selena's page. Because my page is the AB Quintanilla page. Yes, I am relative to Selena. And I, I love the stories too. But if I want to see those... I'll go to her page to see them and go, wow, that's cool, when I have the strength. Because some days, I don't have the strength. Yeah, that's, to, another, to, that's another thing, too. A lot of people go, well, oh, well, he posted about it. He posted about her. He talks yes. about her all the time. The thing is, he talks about her or posts about her when he feels like he's ready to. When he feels like he can handle it and he can accept it at the time. It's hard, I, right, I guess you could say it's hard for you to yes. just constantly be bombarded by it 24 hours a day every time you get on Facebook or Instagram. Right. I, I, which I, is why he ends up blocking people. It's like, okay, if you love her, go go put that on her page. Yeah. It's, and an example that you always use is... is it, well, the Jacksons, okay? You have Michael Jackson and you have Janet Jackson. You wouldn't go to Janet Jackson's page talking about Michael Jackson. What you would do is go to Michael Jackson's page and go share your stories over there. You know, it's kind of, you. I, I would never have the the nerve to tell Janet anything like about Michael, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't wanna, I don't know what kind of mood she would be in if, if she's hurting that day or she's not feeling good about things. And, and for us, I mean, it's 20 years later and it's, it's still hard. I just went to go see Fast and the Furious and it was hard for me to watch the movie knowing that Paul Walker <laughs> is no longer here because he left behind a little daughter and a family and <laughs> and, and I know what that feels like. And it was hard for me to watch Fast and the Furious, uh, uh, even though it was an amazing movie. You know, but the point is, is people that we have to be more aware of, you know, the words we use on 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 the social medias because they they they're 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 hopeful, they're hurtful words. You know what I'm saying? And and it's just, it's just not right. I know I'm not going to change. Everybody's point, because your or view, you're still gonna do it anyway. But like I said before, it'd be nice to get that Selena fa uh, Facebook page up to 2.5 million. And I congratulate Jennifer Lopez on those more than. Yeah, a lot of people are really 55, negative about it, but yeah. Homegirl, Homegirl is a freaking monster. You're talking, you're talking 50, touring the world. How many albums sold? 50 over 55 million Phenomenal albums sold. Phenomenal dancer, yeah. amazing actress. She's got, she's the whole package, man. You know, and the thing is, is we're not saying that Selena wasn't or isn't. She, well, Selena's the bomb. Selena's a legend. You know, there's <laughs> there's a difference between a legend and, you know, an artist that's still working, you know. And, and the thing, who's to say? Selena might have had more than, than 60 million albums. Maybe she would have won 120 million albums. We'll never know. But the one thing that we do know is that 2.5 million doesn't add up close to that 60 million albums sold. So... We need we need to take some of you know some of that that uh, whatever it is with your friends or whoever you can get to uh, like her page. I would greatly appreciate, man. If they could get it up to three million or four million, I'd be happy if that happened within the next couple of days, and that's possible with the help of all you guys. But once again, you know this whole negativity with with Jennifer Lopez, it just needs to stop. You know this. The thing is, is is it's just you know. When you sell 55 million albums, that's 55 million that albums. That was three years ago. That was three years ago. That's that. Imagine you can't, how many more she's sold in the past three years. I mean, years I've been at then. this. I've been at this for <clears throat> for with Cumbia Kings, and I'm barely at 16 million albums. You know what I'm saying? And that's a small drop in the bucket compared to 55 million albums, man. So you can only sell 55 million albums if you got talent, man. If you can actually. Sing and dance and do the thing. There's no way. I'm a huge fan. Yeah, I'm, I am too. I am too. She's I had some. Her. She's had some great bangers, and you know, and she's had some great collaborations, man. So the thing is, is man, don't hate. And there's there, no need for and that. And there's nothing we wrong. We understand your love for Selena, but there's no need to hate on J Lo. She's and, yeah. she's a badass bitch. Yeah, and there's and there's nothing and there's <laughs> watch your mouth, man. There's why there's, there's no why? need for it. So there's so, no need. so stop. And what we need you to do. Is Thursday, April the what? Thirtieth. April the thirtieth. Thursday, April the thirtieth. We need every Latino and every person watching this video. Please make me a promise that you guys will tune in because I what I want 
for it's the for Billboard Awards. The Billboard for the Billboard Awards. I want for that Billboard Awards to just break records and for everybody to know on Telemundo. On Telemundo for everybody the other networks to know that know the power of Selena to know how that she's still very much loved and very much missed. You know what I'm saying? So let's enjoy the tribute. Sit back and enjoy it. I'm sure she's going to do a wonderful job. She's not trying to be Selena. She's just doing a tribute. So enjoy the she's tribute. She's just showing man. her love that she has that she has for her. It still has for her. You and know that, what I mean? That's a, and that's another thing. A lot of people would always complain about that. She forgets who gave her her start. She forgets this. She forgot where she came from. Blah, blah, blah. No, she hasn't, man. You know what I'm saying? She's done so many movies, sold so many albums. And, and she doesn't have to do this for publicity. She's Jennifer Lopez, man. You know what I'm saying? She's doing this because, because she, it's, loves, she Selena. loves Selena. And she loves our family. And we know that because she ate barbecue at our house, a carne asada, rice and beans. And, you know, she ate tortillas with us. And she, and she stayed at our houses. All the actors did. And they did a wonderful job down to Edward James Olmos, down to Jacob Vargas, down to John Seda. They all did a wonderful job. Betraying the family. Jackie yeah, and Jackie Guerra and, and Constance Marie. Um, they all did a wonderful job portraying our family. And we're I'm proud, you know, that we have a, a pretty good, accurate movie, you know, except for me getting the bus stuck. That didn't really happen. And we'll talk about that another time. But the washing machine. Yeah, and plus the bus I'm in right now is not Big Bertha. That's not possible because she would be 40 years old and no bus lasts 40 years. It's impossible. So anyway... And there's nothing wrong with working at Taco Bell <coughs> because Taco Bell's good. Taco Bell's good, man. You know what I'm saying? It's not good for you, but there's nothing wrong. And for everybody that goes, Taco Bell isn't Mexican food. Ain't nobody trying to say Taco Bell's Mexican food. I'm just saying I like tacos and we it's just, cheap. Yeah, it's cheap and it's, it's cheap good. cheap and I like tacos. I, so the thing is, for all the people that work at fast food, I salute you. Hats off to you. Hats off to you. And... Now it's time to say goodbye to all of you. Let's look at how, okay. I don't know the M-I-C-K-Y because it doesn't work. But anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. It's late. That's we got to sign out. on my head. That's a bun. It looks like a poop. It lo that's, what I, that's why I don't like it. You're looking well, at my hair is getting like extra long, so I have to like double wrap it. Yeah. Like would, almost. Why can't times. you just let, why can't you just do something else with it? Like what? I don't know. Wear a hat and pull it like a ponytail. I don't look good in hats. Anyway, ladies, don't mess with your eyebrows, all right? <laughs> That's all I got to say. Don't mess with them. No more McDonald arches. No more. That's no more. Namas. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy, man. I'm going to check out my pimple right there. You can't see it. The, the white blows it out, man. You can see it right there. Huh? You can see it right there. It's already scarring over. Anyway, we've said too much. We're going to let you guys go. Once again, don't forget to watch the Billboard Awards. April, it's going to be amazing. Uh, April 30th, man. Support J-Lo. But more than, more than anything, support Selena, man. Let's break those TV records, man. Let's make this the most seen TV show, Latin TV show, all Latinos around the world, man. Let's make this the show that everybody watched, man, for sure. And congratulations to Jay Baldwin for his song in Fast and the Furious. That's so cool, man. It was yeah. awesome. We got one also. Boom, boom. It came out in one of the Fast and the Furious. I don't know which one. We already talked about that. Anyway, that's cool. Anyway, congratulations. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.